What's up, YouTube? Um, thought I should make a video showing my spaghetti squash. I've been eating this instead of spaghetti because I really love spaghetti, but I'm trying to lose some weight. Uh, maybe I'll make a video on that, on, on my progress on that. But so, pasta is out for me. And uh, so, um, spaghetti squash is really good. And when you put spaghetti sauce on it, uh, actually it almost tastes a little bit better than spaghetti. Um, I don't know. I love spaghetti, so that's kind of wishful thinking, but it does taste really good, and it's, it's a little bit different, it's actually kind of sweet, you just have to try it, it's worth the try, um, it's all in the sauce anyways, um, although you could eat it raw, and it'd probably taste pretty good with something like butter on it or something, but, so the first thing I like to do is, actually the first thing you want to do is set your oven to preheat at, um, 400, and you want to put some aluminum foil down in there. And you'll see that later. That's so uh, you don't have to wait for the oven to heat up. And I'm just going to wash this first. That's my first step is to wash this. And I'm just going to use some dishwashing soap. Wash out of this. And then what you do is you you cut off this end. And you spin it around. Cut off this end. And then cut it right in half. And for me, I struggle very hard with this. So I'm not going to film me doing that. Because it wouldn't look good if I cut off my finger on video or anything. Um, what I've started to do, instead of trying to uh, make the whole cut, which I have a hard time doing, is I just kind of like stick it, and because it's hollow sort of inside, and you'll see that, and I kind of just work my way around, and that seems to be a better technique and a lot safer than, I used to try to like, try to make the whole cut in one deal, and that's just kind of dangerous. Anyway, so uh, all I'm going to do is wash this, and I'll uh, pick it up after I get done with that. I apologize for the dishwasher going off, but, um, and also I know the screen's going to look yellow. It always does when I film in the house. The color of the paint and the fluorescent light bulbs make it look all weird in here. apologize for that. And I know I said I wasn't going to show you me, uh, filming how I cut this, um, but it is a kind of a hard thing, so I'll figure, and I'm getting a little bit better at it. What I'll do is I'll just put the, um, knife in like that, insert, and just give it a little tap. Rock it a little bit, and I'll just go... Don't rush it. Just kind of keep doing that. And you want to save, um, you know, you just want to cut the end cap off so you don't want to lose too much of the, what I call the meat. So that's all I do is just, uh, oh, it's almost ready to go there. If it gets hard, you know, if I can rock it, I rock it. If I can't, I just, uh, just give it the little tap in there and let the knife do the work. And just be very careful with this. This is like kind of dangerous. Um, so um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, maybe have somebody help you out there. Okay, at this point I got the um, end caps cut off here. And I finally got it cut in half. And so you just get yourself a, a, a big strong spoon. And then you just scoop this out here. I'll kind of show you a little bit. Basically you scoop these seeds out. And then... Be fun to try to plant these. But you just scoop that out, get them all out there, and uh, kind of makes a mess there. But I'll pick it up after I get those uh, scooped out. All right, quick video on this. Uh, I kind of zoom in so you can see. Um, you don't have to scoop out all the. Um, kind of a different color orangish uh, fibers that were holding the seeds out. You just need to make sure you get all your seeds out of it. See, there's a lot of fiber in here and no need to um, waste that. I mean, this you'd waste, but um, no need to like scrape scrape all that stuff out of there because you, you're going to cook it and you're going to eat it. Just don't want any seeds in there. It just doesn't kind of messes up the texture of things. Anyway, so let me clean this up and uh, then I'll show you my next step. Alright, <clears throat> the next step is kind of like the secret to making good spaghetti squash. Get yourself some olive oil, throw it on there. If you had a fancy brush, you could like brush that in there. I just use my hand. You want to wipe it down. And then here's something that I'm pretty sure I discovered is if you wipe, oops, if you wipe the back of it, um, it seems like it makes it come out of the, uh, I don't know what, the skin better, and I'll, you'll see that when I'm done. 
but this will cause it to um, brown up and give it a nice flavor. You don't want, you know, just wipe your excess off inside your sink there. I gotta clean off my hands there. Be right back. All right, something I forgot to mention is um, what I also did is after I scooped out the seeds, I rinsed out the um, the spaghetti squash and then got all the water just loosely off of it and took a paper towel and dried the inside. If you had a clean rag, you could uh, try that too. But um, I did that before I put the olive oil on. Anyway, so just gonna pull out my rack. My oven's already preheated to 400. I got my aluminum foil there, and then you just put these face down, pretty much in the center. Then uh, I'm going to set my stove. My button always fights me, but I'll give it a try. Yeah, it's got a bad button up there. So I'm going to set that for one hour. Um, got to fight with it a little bit. And then uh, after one hour, it'll be uh, done cooking. Figured uh show spaghetti sauce. Um, we usually take a can of, I try to get something that's not have a lot of sugar in it. it seems sort of nat natural. It's hard to buy stuff that's good for you in the store. Um, usually start out with a can of that and then just add our own uh, fresh stuff to it. Um, make these these meatballs. You just take some hamburger, put it in a circle. You can actually throw those in the microwave oven to cook them up before you put them in your sauce. And then uh, there's some mushrooms oops, and garlic and stuff like that in here. And I, my wife just makes the sauce. I, she makes a really good sauce. I don't even, you know, if I was by myself um, and I need to make it, I could make a sauce that tastes pretty good. But she makes really good sauce, so I just let her make the sauce and I make the spaghetti squash. So, um, anyhow, and then I like to use put Parmesan cheese on it when I'm all done. That makes it kind of the final touch there. But I finally did get the timer going. I got 59 minutes, uh, excuse me. Yeah, 59 minutes left, so this should be done in an hour. Alright, um, just got like 15 minutes left for it to cook. Uh, I just realized something I wanted to show you. I think I said I set my, oops, set my uh, temperature to 400. There you go. But actually, I, on this one, I did it to um, 375. So, it seems to me I've done it to 400 before. Um, that should be okay. Anyhow, um, I just thought I'd point that out. I am cooking it at 375. And so, sorry if the video looks, uh, I'm having a hard time with my camera. The screen turned green on me, and uh, so it's hard for me to see what you guys are seeing. But the camera seems to be recording okay. Anyhow, so I'll just pause this and uh, pick it up in, looks like, 13 minutes. Well, um, the screen on my video camera finally conked out, and so I can't see. I think it works, but it, there's no screen, so I can't tell. So my buzzer went off, so I turned off the heat. And try not to burn myself, because now I'm doing this one-handed. Um, anyhow, see how they're nice and brown? Um, what I'm going to do is just take them and put them over here. But I need both hands, because I don't want to burn myself. Um, so I'll pick that up here in just a second. Alright, so I don't know if you can see this, but there's steam rising off these guys, and they're really hot. And, um, let's see, man, I can't shoot, this really, is, it's too bad I don't have two hands. Um, so far every time I've done oil on the outside, you'll see, I'll, I'll have to do this and then pause. Um, I've been able to scoop the whole thing out of the shell, and then just put it on a plate. To where most people have to take like a fork and kind of scratch it out um so that's kind of like my little secret there uh and i gotta do this with two hands or i'll get all burned up and it won't, i can't hold the deal and stuff anyways i'll be right back okay hopefully this uh is showing up on camera um but as you can see this is just the shell 
and I just scooped it in at an angle with my spoon there and kind of got the whole thing out in one chunk and uh, you know usually you can't get them out this clean and again I think it's because I put the olive oil also on the outside and it probably heats it up and causes it to separate and so that's what you start so I don't have to fiddle around with a fork and kind of like strand it out now I will a little bit fluff it up with a fork in here so I'll give it a spaghetti consistency to it um, and then uh, the ends get kind of weird and uh, so I usually just cut the end pieces off um, you know just get as much meat out of that as I can and then uh, one half of these is pretty much a plate of spaghetti and uh, so what I like to do is oftentimes is um, I'll make a plate for myself and then use the other half scoop it out and then put it like in a ziploc bag and throw it in the fridge or, so or something like that and then next time I want to have spaghetti it's all ready to go I just uh, heat it up in the microwave and it heats up really nice it's not like pasta gets kind of you know soggy and hard to reheat up once it's done this will microwave up nicely and then you'll have a spaghetti dinner ready to go really easy just throw your sauce hot sauce on there and you're good to go so um I'm gonna pause to finish this now I'm uh, too, I'm sorry I couldn't show you me scooping this out all I did is just kind of scoop it like a it's like a giant avocado if you've ever taken an avocado out that's how it kind of comes out um, and again I apologize for the video my camera kind of went went out on me in the middle of the video in this anyways if you uh, like this uh, hit like and actually I'll make a um, I'll get this all done up and then I'll show you the end result with the sauce and stuff on it, it looks really good all right here you go um, got my plate of spaghetti or spaghetti squash um, this tastes awesome and then uh, I just put my uh, sauce on there and put some parmesan cheese over the top of that and uh, you don't have to feel guilty about eating this at all pasta you eat that and it um, kind of puts on the pounds on the old belly there this you can eat and uh, you're gonna get really full and you're not gonna have that uh, when you eat uh, breads and pastas and stuff it causes your gluten to spike or, uh, yeah your gluten is spike and uh, and then you get a crash because your body's got too much of it and uh, so it shoots a bunch of insulin in your system that's why you get kind of sleepy after eating um, big bowl of spaghetti anyhow uh, this will keep your energy level up and it won't give you that sugar spike it'll just be very satisfying um, anyhow so I hope you like this video and if you hit if you liked it hit like and if you subscribe you'll see more when they come out Thanks for watching.